One of the most extraordinary stories of rock music is that of Roger Keith Barrett, or Sid, to his friends, who died on the 7th of July 2006 after being a recluse for over 30 years. Sid had played with the world's most successful rock band for only the first two of the more than 40 years that they have enjoyed at the top of their game, yet his influence permeates their work and has silently reached the buyers of the over 250 million albums sold by them worldwide. It all started in the early 60s when a group of friends from Cambridge were playing blues covers with extended instrumental improvisations under band names such as Sigma Six, The Megadeths, The Architectural Abdams, Leonard's Lodges and eventually T-Set. When they found themselves booked on a gig where there was another band called T-Set, Roger Waters, Rick Wright, Nick Mason, Bob Cross and Sid Barrett needed another name fast. By juxtaposing the first name of two blues musicians mentioned in a sleeve note by Paul Oliver on Blind Boy Fuller's country blues album, Sid came up with the Pink Floyd sound. Pink Floyd soon became a favorite in the underground movement, playing what was to become known as psychedelic and avant-garde rock music. Right